What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Calville Bay. Let's fish that. All right, ladies and gents, I really do hope you brought your hiking boots out today, as well as a hiking stick, because we are not going to be fishing near Calville Bay itself. We are going to be doing a mile, maybe two miles hike away from Calville Bay. We're going to try and find Lover's Cove. So let's not waste time. Let's get out to the fishing waters. All right, ladies and gents, we made it out to Lover's Cove. Now, after hiking over the mountain, I picked the first spot that looks good but we're not gonna stay in this particular spot. I found that it's actually quite shallow here where I am, and I came to this spot looking for some deeper water. So we'll hike around finding some deeper water. But after four years of fishing here at Lake Mead, I have to say it never gets old finding a new spot and something different, something that looks a lot different from what I'm used to. And in a moment, I will pan around just to show you the lay of the land, why I'm saying it's so beautiful out there. So not only do we have lovely little uh, points coming into the water, but we have crystal clear water. We can see the rocks in the water. Lovely big open space with the mountains in the background and our little sand dune. That was something that I remarked about when I went on my little float tube. I talked about the little sand dune, want to fish off that. So maybe we'll head that way or maybe we can try for some bass next to where those points are running into the water. But once again, lovely spot, a tad bit different from some of the places I have fished here at Lake Mead. And I have to say, with these shallow embankments, I can see the bass in summer making some beds up here, but at the moment they'll be on the secondary points or in the deeper water. That's why I'm thinking we need to get out to deeper water. All right, so hiking all the way out here, I brought as little stuff as possible, meaning I packed very light, but we still do have two rods we can use. The one I got out there at the moment, that is with some anchovies, hoping maybe some stripers or catfish will be willing to go for our anchovies. Got that on a little automatic hook setter. Out into the water, we'll see if something goes for that. But my main focus for today is going to be throwing around some bass lures, see if maybe there are any bass up shallow. I'm gonna start off with some bottom jigs, but I will also be throwing some swim baits and stuff. See if maybe there are stripers in the area willing to go for some moving fish as well. Now I am of course going to be moving spots as well. So we'll rebait as is necessary. And I'm gonna be making tons of casts, seeing if we get anything. If there's anything exciting, I'll bring you guys to it. Alright guys, <clears throat> this little spot is rather beautiful, but I think it's a bit shallow for the type of fish we're trying to find at the moment. So I'm thinking maybe we need to make our way out into some deeper water. All right, so why did I choose Lover's Cove as the place I wanted to fish? Well, that is quite simple. This is a place I know that a lot of the people on the kayaks and the boats love this particular cove. It's a good spot to find some bass, especially during spring and in summer. But of course, being this far out, if you don't have a boat, it's quite a hike to get out here, and that's why I wanted to do it in the winter months. But that does mean that the fishing can be quite slow. Now, I just spoke to the guy on the kayak, and he said on his sonar, he can see that the fish are around here, chasing the lures, but as soon as they get close, they just veer away. This means they're kind of interested, but not striking. And this now raises the question, do I stick out here, try and find that one fish that's willing to bite? Or do I maybe take all the stuff, head back 
over the dunes, maybe try and find the little catfish closer to the marina, see if they're willing to bite, or do I stick out here and try and find these stubborn fish? Now these are some of the tough questions we anglers need to answer from time to time. Do you stick to your guns or do you maybe change your tactics? For now, I'm going to leave my bait soaking out there for a while, make a few more casts, but I think we maybe should consider changing our tactics for today. All right, ladies and gents, we made it to the marina boundary, the last place where you're allowed to fish. You're not allowed to fish inside of the marina, but it was a pretty slow day out there today. Now, I have seen some pictures of people catching largemouth bass and stripers near Calville Bay. That's why I thought, let's give it a go. But I'll be honest, I'm quite surprised how low the water is. Last time I was out here a couple of months ago, water was a lot higher than it is at the moment. The moment we have large sandbanks before it drops off if you're not getting into the deep water you're not going to be near the fish but i knew it was a long shot before i started but to be honest i am rather disappointed now i'm not so much disappointed in not catching fish but to tell you why i'm disappointed i first need to explain that a couple of years back something like 10 years ago i was in a big car accident and from that accident i actually broke my ankle the ankle has been fused together meaning every step I take, it kind of hurts. But having long distances to walk, uh, the ankle gets swollen and it does hurt a lot more. And for a day or two after filming something like this, I will have to sit around with my feet in the air the entire day. So when I'm saying I'm rather disappointed, I'm more disappointed in having to hike all this way and not even get a single bite. But that is wintertime fishing. That's how it works. If you're not in the deep water, you're not gonna get any fish. Now, if you're asking whether I think it is worth it for that, I would have to say yes, it is still worth the hike. And just exploring a new place, seeing some new sights, it's all worth it in the end. Now, does that mean I think going to the exact same spot over and over is wrong? No, I don't. In fact, I think if you go to the same place, you might actually do a lot better in that specific place. Especially if you chum the water, you're creating a feeding zone. And by going to the same place over and over, you can try different baits and find exactly what the fish want. And something simple like learning the structures, learning where the fish are, exactly where to move your lure to get the fish, something like that. It's a big advantage if you always go to the same place. But from time to time, I do like exploring, finding some new sites, new places. And you might never know, any new place you go to, you might find a new life lister or some bigger fish or a little honey hole. So it does help to explore from time to time. All right, guys, but sadly, no fish in this video. But do give me a little thumbs up for going out there and hiking about. The more likes we get, the more likely we are to get on some fish in the next video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing so, hitting the big red subscribe button, joining my community. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments, or feel free to leave any comments down there as well. All right, guys, but thank you for tagging along. And like always, I'll see you next time.